Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I make New York City based adventure videos spiked with love and positivity. Today, we're going to have another culinary adventure in New York City. We're going to have dinner at a Portuguese restaurant called Leitao. It's located in the West Village. If you're not familiar with New York City, the West Village is a neighborhood in Manhattan. And I'm really excited for this. I've never had Portuguese food before, but I have taken a look at the menu and it looks fantastic. So I'm going to take you along with me and show you what the dinner looks like. Okay, let's get going. Just kidding, I'm still here. All right, let's go for real now. <laughs> Leitao is a five minute walk away from the Christopher Street station on the one line. This is the nearest subway station. The restaurant space is pretty small on the first floor. If you're coming here on a Saturday night, then be prepared to see the place packed. There is a bar on the right side as you walk in and smaller tables near the front door. On the first floor, there are more tables near the back. If you're trying to accommodate a large group of people, then chances are that you'll be brought downstairs to a separate dining area. This is where we were for dinner. The restaurant is dimly lit throughout and makes for a perfect date night. The menu can be accessed from your phone. Speaking of the menu, let's explore the dining options at Lei Tao. I like that next to each dish, the spiciness level is indicated on a scale from 1 to 10. There are plenty of appetizers for you to choose from. The truffle parmesan french fries are always a popular favorite. The burrata salad is large and looked very delicious. Keep in mind that if you are a vegetarian, then there are not many dining options here for you. You can basically only have the salads and the truffle fries. We ended up getting the grass-fed prime sirloin and mushroom sauce, the octopus salad, cod croquettes, flaming Portuguese sausage, pork ribs, roasted shisito peppers, and main dishes consisted of seafood with rice, lamb with potatoes, and Portuguese roasted chicken. We also got one of the sandwiches. It was either beef or pork based. For dessert, we had the most divine traditional Portuguese custard tart. Taking a look at the prices, you'll see that most dishes cost around $35 for an entree and $20 for an appetizer. The appetizers are very small, while the entrees are a decent size. So here are the truffle fries with Parmesan cheese, and it comes with two dipping sauces. These are the cod croquettes. You'll get five for each appetizer portion. These are the roasted shisito peppers. The spiciness level for these are a five. And that right there is my favorite appetizer, the beef with mushrooms in a sauce. Over here we have the ribs, which were very soft and fell right off the bone. And this was the flaming Portuguese sausage. It was truly flaming and on fire. The waitress ended up taking the sausage and flipping it over a few times to make sure that it was roasted equally on all sides. This truly makes for a unique dining experience. Here is the octopus salad and the sandwich that we got, which was either pork or beef. The octopus was so tender and soft. It melted in your mouth and was one of my favorite dishes of the night. You must get it if you're here. This is the second place where I've had octopus at a restaurant. The first place was a Greek restaurant in Astoria called Taverna Chiclades. If you haven't seen vlog 4 where I review Taverna Chiclades, then I'll leave that link in the description box. Here is the chicken, which may be spicy for some, but it's really the right sauce and the skin that's the spiciest. Once you get past the skin, then the chicken itself is not spicy. 
This is the large burrata salad. And finally here we have the seafood with rice. It came with shrimp and some clams. This was advertised as being slightly spicy. It's a level of 3 out of 10 on the scale. Most of you will already know that I am spice sensitive, but I was able to have both the chicken and the seafood with rice. These dishes were not extremely spicy. For dessert, we had the best traditional Portuguese custard tart. They were warm and the foliage on the outside reminded me of a spinach pie. They were very flaky and also had a bit of cinnamon and powdered sugar on top. Overall, I could eat these all day. They were not very sweet. I'm such a fan of custard cream in general and these were delicious. You have to try them if you dine here. It'll be the perfect ending to the night. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more New York City content and culinary adventures like this. In the meantime, let's keep in touch on Instagram at Miss Anna Adventures. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you in my next video. Take care. Bye.